Hello, welcome back to Apex Math. Today's lesson, we are going to focus on solving two-step equations. And if you haven't already watched our lesson on solving one-step equations, I recommend that you start there. Uh, algebra is a developmental process, and you will learn best if you follow things using a developmental approach. This means that you start off with the most easy problems and lessons first, and you gradually build as you obtain mastery in one section, you get more difficult problems uh, and gain mastery on those and move forward from there, etc. So we are going to look at solving two steps equations now. So we have 2x plus 1 equals 9. And as we did in solving our one-step equations, we circled our variable that we were looking to isolate. So our goal, remember, is to get x all by itself on one side and all the numbers on the other side. Now, the thing that is attached to the x, this 2 here, think of him as being sticky. And sticky numbers stay with your variable until the very end. So we are not going to get rid of this 2 until the very last step. We're going to get rid of other things that are further away. So whatever's the furthest away from your variable, that's where you want to start with. So we are going to start with getting rid of this guy to begin with. So let's get back to 2x plus 1 equals 9. And if we want to get rid of a plus 1, then we want to look at what is the inverse of plus 1. And we know that the inverse of plus 1 is minus 1. So we're going to do a minus 1, which is the inverse. And what we do to one side, we also do to the other side. Inverses cross each other out because they undo each other. And then we draw a line to simplify at this stage. So the 2x we haven't touched because that was sticky. Those crossed off. And then we have 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. Now we can deal with this final step here. And this is just a one-step equation like we did previously. So we look at what is the relationship between the x and the 2, because this is the 2 we want to make go away now. And the x is being multiplied by 2. So we want the inverse of times 2. So the inverse of times 2 is divided by 2. So we're going to go ahead and divide by 2, and divide by 2. That crosses off. So x is equal to 8 divided by 2 is 4, and that is our final answer. All right, let's look at another one. The next one we're going to do is 3x minus 4 is equal to 8. So again, since we're trying to get to this guy right here, the 3 is sticky right now, so we're going to leave him till the end. So what we want to address is the negative 4. So we want the inverse of minus 4. And the inverse of minus 4 is plus 4. So we're going to plus 4 to both sides. That makes that go away. We carry down the 3x. And then we have 8 plus 4 is 12. Now we can deal with the sticky 3, and we notice that the relationship between the x and the 3, because we want the 3 to go away, so we have to look at that relationship, the x and the 3 is multiplication. So we want the inverse of times 3, which is divided by 3. So we divide both sides by 3, we cross that off, x is equal to 4. All right, let's go to the next one. The next one is 2 fifths 
x plus 1 is equal to 13. So again, something sitting right next to the x. So that's 2 fifth is sticky. So we're going to leave him till the end. So we want to deal with the inverse of plus 1, which is minus 1. So we're going to minus 1 from both sides. So we're going to carry down the 2 fifths x. And 13 minus 1 is 12. Now we need the inverse of a fraction. Inverse of times 2 fifths. And we talked about this last time that the inverse of times 2 fifths is the reciprocal fraction. So the reciprocal is the flip-flop of the fraction. So I'm going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal fraction. Cross-canceling makes that fraction go completely away, which is what I wanted, leaving us with just x. On this side, I'm going to turn the 12 into a 12 over 1. And now I'm going to cross-cancel. 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into 12 six times. 6 times 5 is 30. So my final answer is x equals 30. So I'm going to give you a couple to try. 4x minus 3 is equal to 13. 3x plus 5 is equal to 26. And 3 fourths x plus 2 is equal to 20. So go ahead and pause the video right now and try these three problems. When you have completed them, you may resume the problem and we will show you the solutions. Okay, hopefully you have turned the video back on now after you've completed them. We are going to quickly go through these solutions. Uh, we would start off with a plus 3 here on both sides. So we end up with 4x equals 16. And we would divide by 4. And so we get x is equal to 4. On the next one, we would subtract 5. That crosses off. So we get 3x is equal to 21. We would divide by 3, so we get x is equal to 7. On the last one, we would subtract 2, so we get 3 fourths x is equal to 18. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal, 4 thirds. That crosses off completely there. Turn the 18 into an 18 over 1. Cross cancel a 1 and a 6. 6 times 4 is 24. And this concludes our lesson on solving two-step equations with Apex Math. If you like our videos, please hit the like button. And we would appreciate it um, if you would leave any comments, if you'd like any videos on any specific math topics, just let us know and we will do our best to provide those for you. And thank you for visiting Apex Math.